everyone. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, so like a getting ready with me thing and some news. Alright, so this is the getting ready portion of it, alright? So, I've already primed my skin and filled my brows in. I don't always fill in my brows every day because I find I don't really have time to do that. Plus, my brows are kind of already dark. But yep, the highlights are still there and oh, the roots are coming, so... Eh, that's not what we're talking about here. We're not talking about my roots or anything like that. So, alright, this is the primer I used on my skin. Right here. If you can see that, it is by Mineral Fusion. And it's their base primer. And it's a gel formula and it has all those a lot of ingredients in it that are great for your skin but me, there we go. but the thing is for it to work properly you should you need to wait for it to dry because it takes a little longer than conventional skin primers to dry onto your skin and in my case it should be dry now. Should be dry right about now, so I'm gonna get started. All right, I'm using my homemade concealer, a powder. This is from an old minerals container. I'm just gonna put some in there. Well, since I made it so pigmented, I'm not gonna need a whole lot of it. And it's very easy to do too. Much easier than you think, but that's for, I'll save that one for another time, all right? All right, so. I'm gonna use for the concealer an old crease brush that I don't really use much anymore except for this lately. I'm basically barely gonna get any on there and basically knock off any excess. You know how it is with minerals. You gotta knock away the excess, otherwise it can look cakey on your skin, and we don't want that. So, all right, I'm gonna go under my eyes because it's kind of shadowy there. And they say the darker your skin, the more it's prominent. And I have darker skin than my mom, so it's the truth. And she's a much She's a prettier woman, and she is lighter. But I don't see anything wrong with my skin, but that's not the point, so I'm just going to get going with this. I find that using this one, see the difference? See the difference between one eye and the other? If you can. If I can get it towards the center, the looks kind of the other eye looks kind of dead. So I'm going to add on just a little bit more. I have my mirror in front of me, so I can see what I'm doing. So See? See it now? Get my camera up here. It's the difference right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, and I'll be right back. Hey, everyone. I'm back. And. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ah, stay. Stay. Stay, why don't you? Whoa! Alright, um. I'm back and I decided I'd finish the rest of the concealer on my other spots on my skin. Which I have quite, I have a few of them. One on my nose right here right now. And marks on my chin. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the foundation. 
and what I've been using lately is my mineral fusion powder that I've had for a while and my shade is olive number two is olive number two and olive number one is a shade lighter than me and I got this at the health food store like I got the primer as well okay enough of that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the skin now I find that mineral powder when done lightly looks a lot more natural than most foundations plus you don't really even need a lot of it Just a little bit I'm just gonna go ahead and you know blend it all in you know the drip you know the drill so you know. Then see the difference one side the other has some light areas and I find I'm can be a little bit lighter in the face than the rest of my body sometimes so slightly uneven in that regard but it's not all that bad at all this just evens it up a little more without being too noticeable so and also going up as well just basically doing different sections of my face Oh yes, and my chin. I'm also going to go down to my neck a little as well so I don't have any mask like line there. Even though it's an exact match to my skin. Again, continuing on. Forehead, of course. See how much more even it looks? Makes a subtle but subtle difference, but it's there. And it's not making. And I'm going down my nose with it as well. And around my lips, too. All right. Um, now, now I'm going to put use my crease brush, my old crease brush from earlier that I used for my concealer. And I'm also going to get some of that foundation lightly around my nose as well, around my nostrils, where the big brush missed. Sorry about that sniffing. I've been recovering from a nasty cold. It was a bad one. I, of course, caught it from, I, my mom had it first, and I caught it. She caught it from the children where she works, so, alright, enough of that. That's not what we're talking about here. Ah! I got a hair on my nose, whoops. Alright. Oh. There. And I'm also going to use this as to even out the eyelid and also to make the eyeshadow stick on better. And also to lock again the primer on my eyelids in place. So I'm just going to blend it all over the eyelid. All the way up to the brow, of course, to the brow bone 
and of course, uh, oh yes, I used two different eyeshadows for my Coastal Sense 88 palette, of which the lid broke. A taupe brown. Okay, okay, I'll show you what I, which eyeshadows were used in this when I filled my eyebrows. I used the taupey one up here where I'm pointing at, and this one right here above the reddish brown to fill in my eyebrows. I used a sponge tip for it and blended it out with this old gift set brow groomer brush. So again, same thing. I'm going to do the other eye, same thing. <sighs> again, all over. All the way over. My lids are a little bit veiny too. Of course that's no surprise because our skin is kind of thin there. But some women are blessed with having even skin all over their eyelids. Anyway. So if you're one of those people who wants to imitate the look I'm doing, all you'd need is translucent powder and not the foundation powder that I'm washing as a wash all over my eyelids. tight. Oh yes, my grandmother was sneezing in the background in case you heard any bits and pieces. So do excuse that. Go zoom tight. She's uh, sneezing a lot. When she sneezes, she gets in one of those nasty fits. Plus. She still smokes. It's gross. It's awful, but she does it. Anyway, and she's been doing it since she was 14 years old. She was born again in 30, 1930. They didn't know no better back then. So. Go down tight! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. That's all there. Skin is evened. Out now. And we're gonna go on to eyeshadow now for eyeshadow today I'm feeling kind of lazy with it so I'm just gonna use a wash of one color and eeny meeny miny mo I pick Zuzu Lux in eternity for the eyeshadow today all right Oh yes, there's a little fluffle on there. <laughs> so, yeah, on we go. Oh yes, Eternity, the golden beige color. They On the website, they describe it as having a cool undertone, but that's a little bit contradictory, and I think they may have made a little bit of a miscalculation because it's a golden beige color. And... Okay, here, this is what color it is on the back. Alright, if you can see that. Eternity. And it's actually a neutral. It has neutral shimmer in it, since it's icy, and golden undertones are usually warm, so I would say it's a neutral in that pretty much anyone could wear this shade and be able to wear it well, so... Okay, I'm going to use my 250 brush of Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to make sure I knocked the excess back onto the pan so I can use it later again for the next eye. Alright, and I'm just going to wash. I'm going to place a wash all over the eyelid. Just up to the eye socket of it. And other side, same thing. All right, just 
just blowing away the excess on there and I probably should spray it with rose water since I just did because it's got antibacterial properties and we don't want my germs in it ew so all over to the socket and blending it and blending it out so that it's soft bit colder than my skin tone, but it's not too obvious of a difference. It kind of matches my skin tone almost, but it is a little bit darker. So, so this shade Eternity that I'm using right now is perfect for is perfect for medium skin tones. Yes, and olive as well. I happen to be both. For those of you who are first, who this video is the first view of me, so. Alright, and I think it's, and I think it is blended up really well. Alright, it's, it's time to go on to the next step. I'm cleaning my brush inside this empty tissue box. Because I don't have no tissues, otherwise I would have used that. So. Alright. It's about as, as good as it gets. Oh yes. And I almost forgot. Alright, let that brush dry, since I just got done spray- oh! I just got done- I just got done spraying it with rose water. Just gave it another spray to make sure all the germs are off of it. And of course, I'm gonna do it on the rest of my skin to get rid of any powdery look that might be on it. And I got this from Lady Makeup number one, this idea. I'm glad. And it's also helped my acne quite a lot as well. Ah, I missed a spot. I'm just fanning it in there and I'm gonna move on to eyeliner next so so with that being said I'm just gonna get out my eco tools eye brush eyeliner brush right here if you can see that in the middle of a tutorial. Can't you just wait? Sorry, my grandmother's making remarks out there. It's kind of rude sometimes. Oh dear. Here she comes. Gran, I am mid. Gran, I am in mid the middle of a video. 
<sighs> she likes to do that sometimes. Oh, anyway. <laughs> boy, oh boy. She can be very volatile sometimes. I'll just put it like that. She can be very... That she's also difficult. Alright. Today, I'm going to be using either print or a carbon by Mac. On there. I decided on print. And carbon. And I've mixed the two together. All right, and that's going to be kind of my eyeliner. Of course, if you wanted a more natural look, you could also just do a dark brown. Alright, that's one eye done. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye next. Again, the same mix, carbon and print together. And I'm going to do the bottom lash line too. So I'll have to bring the camera up a little bit since this is my webcam again. So, type. Oh! Stupid. Screen. It's extending it up slightly as well. The other side is a very subtle wing. You might not be able to see it up close. Okay. All right, I might want to wing it up a little bit more, so I'm just going to take a bit of print to do that again. That's a little better. Again, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. Alright, and I'm going to do some underneath as well to add more definition to the eye. Because I'm feeling kind of lazy today, so. Plus, I'll be having some things to do later, so. She 
always has to do that every time. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of the same combination of carbon and print under the eyes. Under the bottom lashes to add extra depth. Alright, so I'm gonna be looking down into the mirror so I can access the area. And And about halfway to three quarters of the way. Connecting it. And same. Th ah! I almost dropped my palette. Same thing. And again, same thing. Again, see what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing to easily access the bottom eyelashes area, right under it. Is tilting my head down. the other eye done. That belt looks even. Halfway to quarter of the way. In. Center of the eye. Under the eye, eye line. And again. Done my eyeliner. I also could have lined the waterline, but I don't really feel like that doing that today. But I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes now. And you know the drill for what comes next. and it doesn't didn't come off a lot. So push the eyelashes up a little bit and even them out as it might have intertwined with each other.
and I'm now going to apply mascara and of course the chroma lash one you can see that of course the black one as always so go And the other side, same thing. Also getting at the roots with the very end of the brush right here, the smallest end. Taking it as even to the other eye as possible. All right. The eyes are finished now. <laughs> Finally. So, oh, now I'm getting washed out. It's just perfect. All right. Whoa. Again. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, now, rest of the face. I'm gonna apply some blusher now. And it's the 100% pure tint for the cheeks and the lips. And obviously the cranberry one. Basically blending it on with my fingertip as I go. And you can't really see it too good. So I might put on a little bit more for the sake of the video. Is known Sally. None other than. By none other than. Girl, to not leave, not to leave him. Because it will cause him pain. Stay for a minute. Alright. I want to 
blend that a little more with my brush. Let's make it blend into my skin better. I'm also going to use the same tint for my lips too. I'm also going to top it off with gloss as well. little more. I'm basically staining my lips with this. might want to redden it up further. I, you could get away with this with a neutral eye like this. Or even my usual everyday look, I could also have gotten away with that as well. Besides, this is not my everyday look. I usually wear eyeliner all around the eye and inside the waterline for my everyday look, which I will put up another video, so I hope to soon. And lip gloss, I'm going to use MAC lip gloss, their clear one. All right, and the look is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe next time I'll show you my everyday look. All right, have a good day. Bye.